What's up everybody, OGP back with you for another video. I am at a very, very special and historic location today. I am at Daly Plaza where JFK lost his life. We're gonna take a look at the museum called the Sixth Floor Museum. We're gonna take a look around the area, just check it all out and we can talk about conspiracy theories and all that stuff later. We're just kind of taking it all in where JFK one of America's favorite presidents, like him or hate him, he was loved by many, where he lost his life, right back here behind me. And as we look at the street, there's a couple X's in the road, and now those are supposedly where he was hit the first two times, and there's a third X down there. But we'll find out about that in the museum or as we explore the area and learn a little bit more about that fateful day. Here we've got a plaque that kind of shows some of the important areas of the plaza here. So uh, number three is the grassy knoll. And number five, the JFK commemoration. Number seven, the sixth floor museum. So here's number seven, which is, there's the plaza here. Number seven, the museum's on the back side of that building right there. We'll walk over there in a few minutes. And then in that, oops. And then in this blown up image over here, number three, the grassy knoll, right over here. And, Number five, the JFK commemoration is over there. So we'll go take a look over there as well. We're gonna check it all out. From the history of it and how much we've heard about that day, it just maybe seems like, or I felt like it might be a little bigger once you get here and realize it's just not that big. The whole plaza actually is really not that big. Over here, we see Abraham Zapruder, who was the guy that filmed the assassination, was standing up here on this, maybe on this pedestal, on this perch right here. I'm reading that right. He was the only photographer known to have filmed the entire assassination and his images have proved crucial to understanding what happened. Zapater made copies of his film available to investigators within hours of the president's death. Wow. Stood on top of this pedestal, properly called a plinth. I would guess that would be it, where he stood filming the president going by right here as the president's motorcade came down the block right here and there's the lone x the third shot and then maybe a hundred feet or so back that way the other two x's where the first shots happened right here is the actual grassy knoll where they say police were seen running up here like looking for a shooter. So this is the actual grassy knoll, the actual spot right here that is referred to as the grassy knoll. So we'll walk up here, and this would have been the vantage point if the shooter was up here, looking back at the road, and the first X's are over there, and the other X is over here, where the shots were. Clear vantage point here, if the shooter was here, rather than in a building. The photographer would have been on the other side of that wall is where that perch was. 
filming as the car went by right down here. And there's a quote right here from JFK. But unfortunately, people, and this is one of my biggest like pet peeves when traveling, is one pet peeve, people trying to sell shit. Second pet peeve, when there's something to see and all these clowns can't like stand back and read this gigantic text. So once we have a chance, I'll get a, a view of it, we'll take a look at it. So that was an excerpt from a speech that he was supposed to give November 22nd, 1963, but unfortunately was not able to deliver that speech. From the noise we're hearing in the background is from the train passing by just outside the plaza here. I think we'll make our way over there now, where I guess there's a memorial for JFK over there. And right across the street, got a little plaque here that talks about the first shot taken from near this vantage point. The photo shows the presidential limousine approaching what would later be called the grassy knoll. Investigators believe the picture was taken about the time of the first shot. The alleged assassin window is at the far right corner of the sixth floor of the building behind you known in 1963 as the Texas School Book Depository in this photo the distance from the window to the president is about 165 feet so that window up there is where the shooter supposedly was at it's up for debate. We're not talking about debate right now. We're just looking at all the areas. We'll come back and talk about the conspiracy theories later on. But there's the window. There's where the first shots were. There's the grassy knoll down by that far tree over there. Let's go now over here and take a look at the JFK Memorial here, got nice fountains. And a lot of this was already here before the shooting. This plaza was already built. So it's not like all of this was built in honor of JFK, just maybe the monument was added. Here we go, the monument to JFK right here. flag flying above. We got a description of the day and the map where the events happened. And so beyond the memorial here is the area where he was shot. There's the building down there where the shooter supposedly was at. And down here, down this street, is where the motorcade came. Made a right turn, gone down to that stoplight at Elm Street, made a left, and then the shooting took place over there. And here is the monument to the gentleman for which the plaza is named, George Bannerman Bailey, 1859 to 1946. If I read that right, maybe he was a journalist? I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Journalism, philanthropy, and civics. So, uh, jack of many trades here. And nice, different viewpoint of the plaza here. Here we go into the sixth floor museum at Dealey Plaza where we'll learn more about that day. Once we entered the museum, I had started uh, filming a bit. And after a few minutes, one of the guys that works there came up to me and said that I wasn't supposed to be filming. So I had to stop. But the footage that I did get before I stopped 
will be available on a members only video so if you're interested in seeing that you can do so uh, for as little as $2.99 a month uh, by becoming a OGP channel member uh, otherwise this video uh, pretty much shows you everything around Dealey Plaza and I've dropped some of the pictures I took up in the sixth floor museum here for you to check out as well uh, just it won't be quite as detailed as the video uh, for the members of the parts inside the museum but you can see here the window where supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald sat and fired the shots and they do quite a good job up there uh, describing the day and talking about the possibility of conspiracies and what may or may not have happened uh, really is something that I recommend everybody go and experience firsthand at some point in your life. Well, that was really cool to go stand in that area where supposedly the shots were fired. There's one more thing related to the shooting that we want to go take a look at while we're here in the plaza. We're heading there now. So there we were up there in that window. You can see in the corner of it, the little box like where the rifle would have been. And now they have that corner blocked off, so we were in that second, third, fourth windows looking out right there. We have arrived at the JFK Memorial Plaza, a place of quiet refuge and enclosed place of thought and contemplation separated from the city around, but near the sky and earth. JFK Memorial Plaza right here just a block away from Daly Plaza right down the street you can see there's a little construction over there but you can see the flag and the uh, structure over there that was part of Daly Plaza the joy and excitement of John F. Kennedy's life belonged to all men so did the pain and sorrow of his death when he died on November 22nd 1963 shock and agony touched human conscience throughout the world in dallas texas there was a special sorrow the young president died in dallas the death bullets were fired 200 yards west of this site take a look at this structure wow really unique in artwork here it's crazy how heavy those concrete pillars must be and what type of support they must have inside of them. The ones that aren't touching the ground to keep them upright. And I'm wondering if this was maybe a fountain or if this is just it. It appears as though there should be a statue or something right there. It almost looks like it's missing something. Walking away from the JFK Memorial Plaza here in Dallas. And with that, we're wrapping up this video. We will talk about the conspiracy and all that in future live streams or some other video. But this is just not, although there's more tourist junk making noise over here, but this is just not the video for that. We're just looking at where he lost his life, honoring the man and his legacy. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you would. Let me know down below. What do you got to say about JFK, the assassination, your thoughts on any of it? I'd love to hear it. Till the next one, you guys take it easy. I'll see you then.